I just took an amazing poop. Good afternoon, the time is two something. I woke up a little bit ago. I've been texting and doing work ever since then. I have so many things going on in my brain. Admittedly, I'm a little bit stressed and I don't like to start the day like that, but reshooting this video I told you about yesterday is the bane of my existence. And to be honest, it is really irritating me that I have to go through this process all over again because it is so hard to confirm people for shoots, especially shoots that require a lot of people. And I cannot fathom that this is the second time I'm doing it. I'm just like, it's Monday, I gotta make a video, I'm trying to balance so many things, I'm trying to do emails, do my video, I'm trying to be a good friend and chill with my friends and do things, but I just, I can't do things if I have to redo things, and it's just very frustrating to me, but it's okay, because I decided to reshoot it, it was my decision, and I will live up to it, because I wanted to release a quality product, so... It is very frustrating though. Um, the second thing I want to talk about was, okay, so I've always felt, and this might be like a little boring for you, but I hope not, because I think my life is kind of really super interesting in the sense that I'm like in this middle area. Like people are always like, oh, like you're famous. And let's just, can we just be real for a second? Like I'm not famous. Like, like Leonardo DiCaprio is famous. Like Beyonce is famous. Like I am not famous. But I am in this very interesting space where like, because I do digital creation, I do have a little bit of, um, recognizability for lack of a better term and so when I go places you know yeah I have security and I get to do events so in that ex extent yeah I have a little bit of limelight there and I think it's very interesting because I'm in a gray area I'm not like a full-fledged like Beyonce but I'm not like Lily from seven years ago either so I think it's very cool when I experience things and they change the way I think or they're a different experience and I'd like to share that with you because I think like very few people get to be in this blessed position and we should just like learn about the psychologic psychologically psychology of being in these positions. So yesterday I was at a wedding and a great time. You came along with me and I already knew like if I go to a wedding, especially if it's like an Indian wedding, I already know it's going to be like a meet and greet. And I managed to prepare for that. And I have no problem because I'm going to be straight real with you. I'm going to talk real with you. I do not ever how can I actually you know I'm not even going to sugarcoat this. I love meeting all of you. I love it. I don't care where. I, I get it. When I, before I became Superwoman, I did the same thing. If I saw someone at a party, I'd be like, hey, I'm so sorry to interrupt you. Like, can I take a picture? And I used to do the same thing. So I totally get it. But I will also say, I kind of miss going to things and not having that. And this, I'm not saying this so people stop approaching me. I don't want that. I get it. Like I said, I was one of those people. And this is not directed towards anyone that approached me yesterday. But, like, there was moments yesterday where, like, all my friends were dancing. And I, I didn't dance with them because I was taking pictures with people. Or, like, I couldn't just enjoy myself because I was taking pictures with people. And I just wanted to share that with you solely to express that sometimes people we don't know a lot about, whether it's the Justin Bieber's or the Selena Gomez's or the whatever, like, they probably go through things that you can't understand because they might just miss doing the normal things. And you might be like, well, that's part of your job, whatever. It's not part of your job to go to a friend's wedding and not be able to enjoy it. It's not people's job to be at their house and have people show up at their house. That's not part of the job. And so I'm not saying this for any other reason except for the fact that I think it's very interesting being in this space I'm in and seeing how my life has changed. Um, and I still love taking pictures with you and I'll continue to take pictures with you. But I won't lie, a little bit of time I miss just dancing and stuff and doing my thing. Um, maybe I'll write about that because that's an experience maybe not many people are familiar with. But I'm gonna shut up because that was a long intro take. I need to make a video and do things. Today we're making a video, today we're doing emails, today we're replanning a reshoot, and then we're going for a dinner and a movie, a horror movie with a bunch of my friends, um, which I cannot wait for because I will definitely need to de-stress at that point in time. Okay, bye. All right, got my video idea for today. It's my parents giving you last minute costume ideas. And I was trying to get ideas for my mom. I was like, mom, like, what are some ideas Manjeet and Padamjeet would give? My mom is so unlike Padamjeet. <laughs> so it's like, I was like, you know, like Padamjeet's gonna say stupid things like, oh, um, having a kid before marriage or like having a dirty room or like failing. And my mom was like, well, it depends if you just fail a, a class or a test. Like, I mean, I feel like everyone has strengths and weaknesses. I'm like, you're so far off from bottom teeth in some ways. But I got something really funny. So this is how me and Anoshini communicate with each other. Let's call her Anoshini, that's weird. Uh, me and Nanu communicate like this. Also, we send each other voice notes, but I always, like, I'm just so weird in them not anymore. I'm, like, doing an accent, so I was asking her about, like, how we're going to the movies, like, should I Uber, what should I do? And this is my voice note. I thought it was hilarious. If you can understand what I'm saying, then now big up yourself. Okay, ready? Baby, what's your plan? You go and drive there? Or you go and, what you going to do? I'm probably going to Uber because I don't want to park in thing. So I'm thinking, should we Uber to where you is? Or should me meet you there by Uber? Let me know, you hear? 
<laughs> I think I'm hilarious. I think I'm getting my period. <laughs> <laughs> we go and edit the thing right now. It is 5:30 and me have to leave at 7 o'clock. That's what Taguan. Also, I'm wearing the exact same outfit I wore when I went out with Chase. Shh, I already texted him, being like, "Yo, don't you dare say a word." When you're responsible, you finish your video on time because you know you need to go out. So you're like, "I'm gonna make sure I do my work first before I go out." And then your internet decides to stop working. That's the story of my life in this Toronto house. My internet story of my life, of my life of my life. I don't know if it's just the area, this house is in or what it is. The internet never works here. Never. I'm changing this vlog channel's name to the fattest cow on the planet because cows. not only cows. do we get our regular, Pearl. not only do we get our regular yeah. ridiculous order, we had an extra drink on the side. Because the last time, you know what it is, because like straight up, you know what it is, the popcorn to drink ratio? It's important and we always finish the drink and then we have popcorn left and, and, then, 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 and, then, and then we took the ice because we're thirsty. Yeah, and then I mean the popcorn like, and then so we had to get an extra drink on the side. to like stop eating the popcorn because I'm so thirsty and that's not allowed. And then I can't be your friend. Babe, you know I haven't, I didn't touch my hair since yesterday. Babe, it looks on point. I didn't wash it, guys. I didn't wash my hair either, I took it out. all day to wash it. That's why I put this bandana on, because under the bandana there's like a, there's like a strip of crusty hairspray. I just pour it. This is why we're married, this is why. <laughs> Yo, we's at dinner, having a very emotional time, because I just got a call. Long story short, we'll talk about it later in more detail, but I got a call basically saying my reshoot is impossible and cannot be done because they took the set down at the YouTube space and they miscommunicated that to me, so. I had to text everyone, canceling, including all the people that I'm fans of that I cannot disclose to you because now I need to wait 365 days until next Halloween to do this shoot. And I will do this shoot next year and it will be amazing. So this will be now the fourth year that I've wanted to do this video. It may not seem like a big deal, but this video was super, super important to me. And imagine having done it with all the people you wanted to do it with and it not turning out the way you wanted it to. And so now it's not gonna come out. But we're not gonna reshoot it. We're gonna have dinner with these lovely people and then talk about this later. Of the best friends ever. Well, you can't say the specifics of what it was. So you have to say just the shoot. Look, oh my, look at this cutie ting, this cutie ting right here. She drew a Ouija because we just watched Ouija. She's asking questions, go ahead. <laughs> Will Lily's recent shoot be done better next year? Be done better next year. <laughs> yes. You're such a cutie. Is there any need to draw this today? Yeah, who needs quality content when you have quality friends, right? They can pay the bills, right? Huh? Thanks for people. You don't look convinced. I got lollipop and it's red. Chase drew this, isn't it pretty? It's a meme. No, it's not. <laughs> it's a random girl. It's a viral. Random girl. Yo, it doesn't look like me. It's his luscious hair. Guys, does this look like no, me? Chase drew this. this. Does this look like me? That's I don't. Hand. Me? Um, yeah. <laughs> me. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Nanu dropped me home again for the second day in a row, and I don't even live anywhere close to her, so like she's being very, very sweet. Um, we are have good news and not so great news. The good news is we're less than 3,000 subscribers away from 10, 10 million subscribers, which is really, really, really cool. Um, the sad news is I would be lying if I said I'm not absolutely mother effing devastated at the fact that my video is not going to get done. I can't explain it to you, and I know this is kind of annoying that I keep talking about it because you don't know what I'm talking about, but it's this video I've wanted to shoot for many, many years and I shot it in the most ideal way with all the people I wanted and it was a dream come true and, it for, and for it to not turn out the way I wanted because I didn't have control over some of the things then wanting to reshoot it and now not being able to reshoot it because of just various reasons I can't tell you about because I'd be giving the video away is extremely upsetting to me and I, I treat like these projects, I'm very passionate about them and I was just so excited about it and I feel like a complete and utter failure for not being able to do it. And I sent massive apology texts to everyone that was involved in it because now even the original is not gonna be shown. I refuse to let it go out not being the way I want it to be. And I will just wait a year and do it again next year. But I am just absolutely devastated and very heartbroken about it. So that's that. Um, I also wanna comment on something earlier in the vlog. I know I was talking about like uh, yesterday and feeling like, you know, I just wanted to dance, not want to take pictures and stuff. I actually realized why that is. And I wanted to actually first apologize if that came across 
ungrateful. I didn't mean it to. I was just genuinely telling you how I felt. And I think I know what it is. I love meeting all of you, and I don't mind, genuinely. But I think there's a... You know what it is? I love my job so much, and I know for me to keep doing it, I have to be mentally healthy. And sometimes, like, always having to take pictures is not mentally healthy. And so I think that's why it gets to me sometimes, because I'm like, no, I don't want to be this person that, like, always feels like they have to be on or be unhealthy in that way. And today, so when I was dealing with this video stuff, I was, like, on my phone, and I'm not gonna lie, I was almost crying, because I was, like, so upset about it. And someone approached me, like, hey, you Superwoman? And I was like, yeah. And my voice was, like, very cracky, and they were like, what's wrong with your voice? I'm like, oh, I'm just dealing with, like, some, like, dramatic work stuff. And then they were like, oh, can I take a picture? And I was like, okay. And then they took a picture, and I went back to them, like, can we get my Snapchat too now? And I'm like, do you care at all that I just said I'm dealing? And so I think that's what it is. It's that if I'm like, it's that level of just like not caring what state I'm in or not caring what I'm doing or not being considerate. That's what a little bit makes me feel like I don't want to have to fake like that's okay because I still want to be treated like a human. And so I think now I'm just gonna start being honest about that. Like if I'm doing something, I'm like, hey, I don't mind taking a picture with you at all. But like it's gonna be after I'm done doing this thing or it's gonna be later at a more appropriate time because I don't want to be one of those people that's fake and then explodes one day because she goes crazy like I don't want to do that I just want to be honest with you and I would like to say when I have meet and greets and things I if you've ever met me in person at a meet and greet you, you hopefully can vouch for the fact as well that I give 3,000 percent at a meet and greet or on stage because that's the time designated for my fans but that time can't be at personal parties it can't be at my house it can't be at a hotel it can't be when I'm trying to just turn off because it's necessary sometimes so that's what I meant and I hope you didn't take it the wrong way when I said it earlier but long story short because I made another three minute clip now I am extremely dev I'm gonna be like mourning for like a week over this I'm so heartbroken extremely heartbroken but it's okay, because we're less than 3,000 subscribers away from 10 million, and that's the positive we should be paying attention to. I also got to pack all this hot mess stuff. It is 1.42 a.m., and my flight is at 10 a.m., and I'm leaving at 8 a.m., so. Out here killing the game. Done, done, everything done. The time is 3.13 a.m. I am going to do a little bit of work, go through some emails, then go to sleep, because um, i got to wake up at 8, but I can sleep on the plane as well. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Well, not here, but almost here. Toilet. Thank you for joining me on an emotional roller coaster of a day. Um, it's okay. Focus on the positives. I always have to whisper here because my parents' room is close by. Focus on the positives. That's what we're going to do. Uh, we're flying back to California. I'm really excited to be back in the sunshine and get back to being absolutely productive. And I'm very glad you're on this journey with me. And... I humbly apologize if I offended anyone, but uh, I love you, and I'm gonna go. <laughs>